Peter Paul Rubens has this reputation as the prince of painters. You know, he's the great public artist of 17th century Europe who captivated courts right across the continent. But I'm on my way to see a very different sort of picture by Rubens. A small scale, intimate, very tender, heartfelt and desperately poignant portrait of his first daughter, Clara Serena, who died shortly before her 13th birthday in 1623. This is a really beautiful picture, very, very intimate. It feels really spontaneous and actually has quite a sad story attached to it as well. We are looking at Clara Serena, who was the daughter of Peter Paul Rubens. She tragically died at the prematurely at the age of 12. This was a really devastating loss for Rubens and his wife. Rubens was very, very firmly established by that time. He was basically the leading court painter in Europe. That's the fascinating thing about this, isn't it? There's that very, very public self, which is the Rubens we all know. Yeah. This is not that. No, absolutely not. You know, this is painted at a time when he was undertaking, you know, huge commissions, highly ambitious in scale, and yet he returns with this picture to something very intimate and, and very personal to him. The picture bears all the hallmarks of Rubens' brushwork and, and his manner of uh, execution, in particular blending flesh tones. He used a sort of badger brush, and so he would apply impasto paint and then blend them together in a very individual manner. I think one of the curious things that strikes me about it is you have almost like these two aspects to it, because there are these wonderfully warm pinks, rosy colours on the skin, which give it that lifelike feel but generally the tone of it feels almost quite muted, right. almost stone-like. It has a sculptural quality to it, the way her shoulders are, are cut, the chemise and this wrap she wears around her shoulders, very much things one's associate with portrait busts in a, in a sculptural sense. You almost think that this is a, a self-conscious allusion, if you like, to antiquity, as though it's her in the guise of an ancient bust. Rubens imbues in her a sense of dignity that comes from the antique. He's an artist who was, who was deeply embedded in the antique. And I think one does get a sense of a, of a very dignified, uh, yet personal image with this portrait. If she had just died when he painted it, it feels appropriate that there's this almost spectral, slightly shadowy quality to her. I think he is going here for a very uh, spontaneous likeness of his daughter, almost as a, a memorial or a way of remembering her. The picture acts very much as a private memory uh, of his daughter, and it's a private memory by one of the great public artists of the Baroque. 